Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on a repaint of a Darling Charming from Ever After High. For the Halloween season I made four Halloween style fairies for uh, the Etsy shop and at the time I'm making this video they are available in there now. So this is my first time working on this Darling Charming doll. She has a really cute face up and she's got a nice smile that I could use to sort of extend one side and give her a little bit of a smirk. So I always love using those uh, the smiling dolls to do a little bit of a funny expression and I really like how this one turned out. So I decided to go cute for Halloween, but I do have some more uh, Halloween style dolls coming up as well that will be a little creepier. And I also have some supply videos and some how-to videos coming up so hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and the little bell so you don't miss out on those. So as usual I coated her with about three or four coats of Mr. Super Clear before getting started on the eyes. And now I'm doing some contouring with a, uh, some burnt sienna mixed with some peach and uh, I believe some like a light, a couple of the, the light skin tones. So I decided to do some purple lips to match her purple streak I put in her hair. I'm using the pan pastel purple as well as the Pan Pastel Pearlescent Violet, or Lavender, I think. I'm just kind of mixing those up and using a brush that I've, it's just a small round brush that I've cut down to be more like a stencil brush so I can sort of brush that on there. And I'm mixing a little bit of white in the bottom lip to give her a highlight. Then I'm taking some Imperial Purple from Derwent and some, uh, also some other lavender colors and just doing some blending there. Taking some black on the corners and I extended one side of her mouth to just give it a little bit of a smirk. For her blush I'm using some uh, like a custom mix of Pan Pastels. and mixing those out with a Q-tip and some colorless blender. So I went back on the lip with some with a purple Derwent metallic pencil to give it some sparkle and blended that out a little bit. And after several coats of white on the eye, I start to lay in the, oops, I'm going back and doing some highlighting and shading in the nostrils. little bit more shading around the nose just trying to define that a little bit more using one of these micro brushes with a colorless blender to blend out that highlight a little bit better don't want I don't want those highlights to be sharp lines When I add the highlights around the eyes, I'm watching the weighting weight of the line. I don't have the same weight of line all the way around. And onto the eyebrows. Just using the small flat brush and black to give her just a kind of a surprised expression. And 
and going in with some black pencil to sort of draw in the individual hairs. So I decided to do a side uh, view exp or a, that make her look like she's looking to the side. And try to get that balance where the, the eyes are the same size and, and an accurate look at where she's glancing. So for example, the right eye needs to be up a little bit further because of the shape of the eye but I want to make sure that they're the same size but that doesn't necessarily mean that the same that they'll the same amount of eye or pupil will be showing so because of the shape of the eye the right eye is a little bit smaller than the left just because of what's hidden with the upper lid. Hope that makes sense. <laughs> so just going in on the detail there. And then once I have the detail where I want it, I'll add the pupil with some black Dermot watercolor pencil. And then I finish off with a few coats of Mr. Super Clear, some gloss varnish on the eyes and some eyelashes I'll adhere. So like I said, this doll as well as the other limited uh, four, set of, it's a set of four uh, limited Halloween edition dolls and they are available on the Etsy shop now. And if you like this video, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the or the comment section below and I'll answer when I have a chance. We're having some difficulty. We're traveling in New Orleans at this time, or New Orleans, <laughs> and um, we're having some reception trouble or some, you know, when you're traveling, it's difficult to have internet all the time. So when I do, I'll be able to answer those questions when I have a chance. So there I added some sparkle, some uh, by Ranger, it's uh, some shimmer powder around the eyes and on the lips. Forgot to mention that. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great Halloween and October and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.